I'm Dr. Henry Rosenberg. I'm the president of the Malignant Hypothermia Association of the United States, and I was one of the co-founders of the organization back in 1981. And I'm here to talk with uh, Dr. Keith Ellis, who was a seminal figure in the identification and the introduction of dantrolene, which we will call dantrium, uh, which is the IV formulation of it during the course of this discussion, um, in, the, in the early days of identifying this unique drug in the treatment of this unique syndrome. So, um, Keith, tell us how it was that you came to be even working with dantrium or identifying this as something that was worthwhile studying. I started to work on dantrolene oral as a product to, for the treatment of spasticity. And in the process of doing that, uh, we tested its uh, utility and its effectiveness via intravenous administration. And one of the things that we noted when we administered the drug uh, intravenously is that it produced muscle relaxation. And the muscle relaxation was unique uh, in terms of the, uh, the type or the level of relaxation. It was actually uh, almost flaccid paralysis that uh, the animals experienced. And in the process of doing that, we uh, uh, thought about potential uh, uses of a drug like dantrium that dantrium IV that produced this tremendous a level of muscle relaxation but uniquely uh, did not have respiration wiped out uh, it it had respiration that was shallow and frequent but it was not total paralysis as you would expect with uh, other muscle relaxants and therefore as we progressed we were, in, in essence, a drug looking for a, uh, a, a drug, tr a need, the need for a drug treatment uh, of a disease. And uh, that's how we uh, kind of, in a thumbnail sketch, uh, arrived at Dantrium IV for the treatment of MH.